Hey, it's John Park for Adafruit. I've got a quick tip for you. This is a conductive ink project I'm working on, and I've got a bigger project coming up that's going to be really rad using lots of conductive ink. Now, I was a little disappointed in my uh, freehand painting of the ink, but I am happy with the way it works. You can see this light blinking here as I touch a capacitive pad that's been drawn out with the paint. Uh, but I figured I could do one better by creating some stencils. So let's take a look at using stencils to create better conductive ink patterns. I'm using 7 mil mylar, which is typically used for creating stencils. And I created a pattern that would match the spacing of the pads on this circuit playground board so that when it lays flat on the ink, I can have conductive traces. Now you could go ahead and create a pattern like this with a regular piece of printer paper and then trace it and cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Uh, I just happened to have the use of the laser cutter, which made it really fast and convenient. So now all I'm gonna do is take some conductive ink and paint it on, staying within the lines of the template or the stencil the best I can. I don't want to get it glopped up underneath. Uh, it doesn't matter too much so long as that doesn't create a short between the lines. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit more here and then lay the board on it and we can test that out once it dries. This kind of conductive paint becomes more conductive as it dries out. So let's set this aside and be a little bit careful peeling up my stencil. And now I'm going to set my board on those traces. Now we can wait for that to dry and then try it out. Okay, the paint has dried and now I've put a little red LED sticker on there and you can see that it's blinking because the paint is now conductive and it looks a lot better than my freehand drawing. So that's your tip on using stencils to create conductive ink artwork.